thanks for joining me for this brief case study. Today we're going to be talking about how Kitson Consultancy has been generating high quality leads for SMEs and growing businesses around the UK and overseas. For the past three years we've been helping clients to generate high quality leads with ultimate decision makers via traditional means such as email and cold calling as well as more modern techniques such as using LinkedIn. Today we're going to briefly go over how we're using those three channels to generate high quality leads with ultimate decision makers on a continuous and reliable basis for our clients. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. If you stick around with me till the end of this video, you're actually going to have the opportunity to take away your own free copy of our ebook, which will outline a lot of the strategies that we're going to go over today, just in a little bit more detail. So. We're going to be talking about how we can generate our clients 15 to 20 high quality leads every single month. Now, you know as well as me that there's lots of agencies out there who will promise you 100 new and exciting leads every single month, but we know from previous experience, and maybe you've had this experience as well, that the vast majority of those 100 will not be the kind of quality that you're looking for to help you grow your business. Our real focus for our clients is how we can achieve two things quality and quantity. If those two things aren't in place, then we're not really doing our jobs properly. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can achieve this for yourself. When I founded Kitson Consultancy three years ago, I was really interested in how we could generate continuous high quality leads for our clients. We were really focused on how we could use traditional modes to generate leads. We were focused on cold calling and email marketing primarily. But then, this time last year, the world began to change and we had to look at ways that we could get in contact with ultimate decision makers during a time when increasingly owners of businesses were not at their desks anymore. So we were struggling to get through to people. It wasn't impossible, but as you can imagine, it was increasingly difficult with people remote working. That's when we began to use LinkedIn as a tool for our clients. Not only was it useful for our clients, but I'll be candid with you, it was useful for ourselves as well. We tested the method on ourselves and it was massively effective. We then started to implement it for our clients and we saw massive success for all of our clients. It's so powerful to be able to get through to ultimate decision makers without having to get through to the gatekeeper. So for our clients on average, we're reaching out to approximately 100 to 200 prospects every single day. We're engaging them in proper conversations on a continuous basis. We focus on using a three phase approach to all of our messaging and I would actually recommend that you do exactly the same thing. The free ebook that I'm going to give you the opportunity to take away at the end of this video will also outline that strategy for you so that you can write your own messages that get really impressive bite back. So the three phase approach, what does it look like? Well, the first message is a connection message. We always want to make sure that we're not selling on the connection message. The idea is that on a connection message, we're just dropping into the world of our prospect. We're not trying to take anything from them or give anything to them. We're just building a genuine relationship. Imagine if you met someone in a bar that you thought looked kind of interesting and you went up to them and said, hello there, X, could I connect with you on LinkedIn? It would be kind of strange, right? So in a connection message, we want to replicate what a real world conversation would look like. Presumably you would go to that person in the bar and say something like, I was really interested from looking at what you do at the moment at so-and-so company. I thought maybe we'd have something in common. Maybe I could buy you a drink sometime, right? That's how you would start that conversation. It's exactly the same with a connection message on LinkedIn. The second message is the in-mail message. This is really the bulk, the body of what we're gonna be doing when we're reaching out to this prospect. This is the opportunity for us to explain the value of what it is that we do, why we're so fantastic at what it is that we do, why clients are working with us, why they love our product or service, whatever it might be, right? And then at the end, we wanna make sure that we have a strong 
call to action so that the person that you've contacted actually has a thing that they can follow up with. Yeah, sure, I'm free next week, etc., etc. And this is how we're generating 15 to 20 high quality appointments for all of our clients. I'm not talking about 100 scattergun appointments with people who don't even expect that you're gonna be calling. I'm talking about quality appointments with people who understand the value and what it is that you do. So that's the email message. So what's the third message? Well, it's a follow-up. The truth is that you're gonna reach out to people and not everyone is going to reply. Maybe they're busy, maybe they forgot, maybe they got distracted by the dog or the kids, whatever it is, right? Sometimes people forget to reply. So what we want to do is come back in and re-impulse them. We wanna give them a reason to say, yeah, actually, I'm gonna to reply to this guy, girl, really, really quickly. So the follow-up message, you can play around with this, but the primary important thing with your follow-up message is to make it very clear that you just wanna know either way. Is it a yes? Is it a no? One of the cool things that I like to do that I've tried out a few times for some of our clients is just to say, if you reply zero, that means you're not interested. If you reply one, that means you are interested. Please let me know which one you fall into. And I will literally have prospects reply one, and I'll be like, right, let's get the appointment booked on your behalf, right? So sometimes it's about just being a little bit clever with your messaging and trying out something a bit different. Remember, the idea is that we're contacting ultimate decision makers. These are business owners. These are people who make high level decisions. These are senior senior people, which means they get bombarded with messages all the time. It's absolutely imperative that we make our messaging unique, exciting, and something that gives them a reason to reply. So that's how we use LinkedIn, and that's how I'd recommend that you use it for your lead generation. So when you're not using LinkedIn for your lead generation, you might want to look at other means. One of those might be using email. Email, the exact same rules apply. For most of our clients, we actually have an above average open rate for all of the email campaigns that we do. On average, a campaign will get about 10 to 30% on the open rate. Right now, we're looking at about 30 to 40% for all of our clients on their email opening rate. What does that actually mean in real terms? Well, it means that we're getting a lot more replies from our email marketing campaigns on the behalf of our clients. It's no good just throwing out 500 emails every single week to people and then getting like two responses. That's not really what we want. There's no point running the campaign in the first place if that's the kind of return that we're gonna be getting. So how do we make our emails as effective as possible? Well, the key thing with all of this is to get a really catchy subject line, something that's really interesting that you just feel intrigued to open up. Think about the emails that you've had landing in your inbox. A lot of them, you just archive them or delete before even opening them because you know intuitively that it's just going to be another thing trying to sell you a thing. So we want to try something clever with our subject line. I haven't got time to go into it right now, but if you read through our ebook at the end, that will give you some really good ideas as to how you can impulse people to want to open your message in the first place just by creating a captivating subject line. Now I want to talk to you about what we actually qualify as a high quality appointment. A lot of the clients that I speak with, their question is always the same. Sure, you tell me you're going to get me high quality leads, what does that actually mean in real terms? Well, I really believe in high quality appointments with ultimate decision makers that fall under three things. And I call these the MAN. Now that stands for the money, the authority and the need. The person that we're contacting has to have budget. They have to have authority to make a decision with you on the phone today, to say yes or no. It's no good us for our clients booking appointments or you booking appointments for yourself where you're speaking with the receptionist or the warehouse supervisor if they can't make decisions, you wanna be speaking with the ultimate decision maker, right? And then N stands for need, obviously. If there's no needs, you're not gonna be able to make a sale. 
No need, no greed. That's what I always say. You don't buy stuff if you don't need it or want it, and your prospects are exactly the same. So for our clients, and I would recommend that you do the same, our focus is to ascertain, do they fall into these three things, the money, the authority, and the need? If so, we book the appointment. So we're wrapping up towards the end of our case study. To me, it looks like you've got three main options. Option one, you can just do nothing. You've heard all of this information about how you can generate high quality leads for yourself. You can just go ahead, do nothing, not change anything. Fine, that's your choice. Thing number two, you could go away and actually do this yourself. I like to joke with people that they can actually do this at home from their bedroom with their feet up with the computer at your desk. That's something you can do. It's labor intensive, it's hard work. I know firsthand from doing it myself when I founded Kitson Consultancy, but it's possible. Option number three, you use a company like ourselves to generate high quality leads for yourself on a continuous basis. Maybe you've got in-house salespeople or business development people that you wanna funnel high quality leads to, that's something we can help with. Maybe you're a solopreneur and you don't even have a business development team yet, that's something we can help with. The choice is yours. From this case study, you've learned how you can use LinkedIn as an efficient lead generation tool for yourself or for your business. I absolutely implore you following up from this case study to book a strategy session with me. The link to that is just going to be below here. I absolutely implore you to join me for that call. I can teach you there how you can reach into certain markets and demographics that are otherwise untapped for yourself currently, and I can show you how we're helping our clients scale their lead generation strategy by 13 to 16 times every single month. I implore you to book the call. I really look forward to speaking with you and I will see you on the other side.